This is an overview of setup and usage of the IndyMark lens encoder. The first thing you're going to want to do is slide on the rod mount, and if you're using 15mm rods, use the reducer bushing. Before you plug it in, make sure to open up LowNet on the PC that you're going to plug it into. And you can plug it in with a USB Type-C cable. After about 5 seconds, it will boot up and start blinking to indicate that it has not yet been zeroed. To zero the encoder, roll your lens to the starting mark, which would be closest focus, widest aperture, or widest focal length. And then press the zero button. As you roll your lens, you should see the light dimming to give you some visual feedback that it's working. Back in LowNet, you'll notice that a new encoder has popped up, and if it hasn't been assigned, it'll be on the bottom row. Go ahead and assign it, and then refer to our other tutorial for more details on how to set up the output data. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and use the new LoLED Lens Mapper program. I'll start off by creating a new map, and because LowNet is running on my local PC, I'll just type in localhost and hit enter. Now as we move the encoder, we'll see that the corresponding value is updating. I'm going to go ahead and type in a lens here. This is a test brand lens, and we'll make this a focus map. I'm going to select encoder A1, which is going to be the encoder that we're going to be mapping. And now all we have to do is go mark by mark, adding each mark as we go. So we're going to start off here at 3 feet 2 inches, which we're going to denote as 3.2, and hit add. And now we'll just continue moving the lens and typing in the new values as we go. And finally for infinity, we'll just press the infinity button and finally add that. To save this map, go ahead and just hit save. To assign the lens map in LowNet, click the encoder, click select map, navigate to the folder you saved it in, and select the CSV. It's as easy as that.